Hi, welcome to a new episode of one video per day for the Pandora. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Pandora and how easy it will be to just turn it on once you receive it, set up your user account and start playing or surfing. First thing you will probably do when you received your Pandora and unpacked it is switching it on. So let's do that and see the first boot. This is not cut, it's in full length. So you will see how easy and fast it is to set up your unit. Um, this is the boot screen. You've got the uh, status bar on the bottom. Um, it feels to the right. It takes a bit longer at the beginning because it has to create all the devices. A few seconds later the first run wizard will pop up and that will allow you to set up your Pandora. So you're being greeted First thing you do is um, enter your full name, which it's not easy if you try to hold the Pandora like that so that the camera uh, stays in focus. But here's my name, Michael Mrozek. Then I enter my username. I'll take Evil D, it's short. My password is just one letter, so I don't forget it. Um, after that, the name, which uh, how the Pandora will show up in your network. And then it asks if I want to automatically log in at startup. I say yes, I don't want to enter password. Now I can select if I want mini menu or the full desktop. I choose mini menu, I'm a gamer. Next thing I have to select is the area where I'm living in for the time zone. I'm in Europe and the location closest to me is Paris. So I'll take that, select the current date and enter the current time. It's one hour earlier here, 1537. Well, and that's it. The setup is complete. Next thing that will happen is that it will load up mini menu as I told the first run wizard. You can always change um, what desktop environment you want to have if you want to have mini menu or XFCE4, um, but we'll do that in another video. So here it is, different settings, different things. These are all the programs that are pre-installed on the Pandora, on the internal system. Basically just some tools you need. And the really cool thing is that I, um, if I have prepared my SD card, all I need to do is put that SD card in. Here you see my 16 GB card. Just plug it in. I've got a lot of PNDs and games and stuff like that on there. Then it's looking for application and wow, a lot of games, emulators and stuff like that ready to play. So let's just start an emulator, for example, um, GNGU, NeoGame emula emulator, load a ROM, for example, Magical Drop 3. It will load up and run immediately. So a cleanly installed Pandora, just put in the SD card you've prepared and you can play immediately. So to quit any emulation or game from mini menu, all you need to do is press the Pandora button and then you're back into mini menu. And now let's see, let's load up the full desktop. You can do that from mini menu anytime you want. You can also switch back from the full desktop to mini menu. And let's take the stylus. That just takes a couple of seconds and here it is, a full desktop. You, you can use it. Um, you can use the start button here and see all the games and all the emulators and everything on the SD card is already there. So setting up your Pandora is just, <laughs> well, it just takes a couple of seconds. If you've got the rest on your SD card, plug it in, start playing. So anytime you, re you reflash or get in your unit, all you need is your old SD card and that's it. Okay, that's it for today's video. Just a small little startup, how it works. Shut the unit down. And that's it. That's how long it takes to set up a unit. 